Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to connect your Honeywell Lyric, well, Residio now, uh, to Apple's HomeKit app. Now, what HomeKit is, it's an app that you can download on your iOS device, whether it's an iPhone, a tablet, and with the HomeKit app, you'll actually be able to control HomeKit enabled devices. The Lyric, with the new firmware update, is capable of being controlled by HomeKit. However, just a couple of things to keep in mind that I'm going to be going over in a second. First thing, HomeKit only works through Wi-Fi. All right, so if your Wi-Fi goes out and you're only using HomeKit, it won't work. Second thing, HomeKit, it comes on new lyrics. However, it does still need to be enabled by the monitoring company. If you have an old lyric and you have an older firmware, you do need to get a firmware update, which you can do from the panel. Um, but either way, no matter if it's old or a new Lyric that's on the correct firmware, you still need to have it enabled by a monitoring company. These systems do not come with HomeKit enabled out of the box. The, the alarm company needs to enable it for you. Now, if you're going to be monitored with us, we enable HomeKit on any of the plans. So it doesn't matter if you're doing self-monitoring or central station monitoring or a combination of both. We enable HomeKit on every single one of our plans. So if that's something that you guys want to do, um, feel free to go ahead and contact us and we can go ahead and get HomeKit set up for you. Uh, the third thing is you, what I was talking about before, the firmware. You need to make sure that the panel is on at least firmware version 1.07. If it is not on firmware 1.07, again, you can have your co monitoring company send the firmware update manually from the AlarmNet 360 servers or you can do it on the panel. I'm going to show you guys right now uh, just a quick video how to confirm first of all before you even try setting up HomeKit that you have the panel on the correct firmware. So the first thing we do is we're at the main screen. We're going to go ahead and hit security. One second. Sorry my system just rebooted. I actually did a firmware update before the video. So there we go. I'm going to hit security. I'm going to go to tools. When I'm in tools, I need to enter in my master code, not my installer code, my master code, which is defaulted at one, two, three, four. If you enter in your installer code, you actually go into programming. So make sure we enter in the master code right now. Next, we're going to go to advanced. From there, we hit system information. And on the first line, you'll be able to see REV, which is the revision of the panel. Mine just got updated to the newest one, which is 1.09. Yours, if it's lower, you will need to update it. Remember, to use HomeKit, you need at least 1.07. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick, hit OK, back out to the main screen, back. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to update the firmware from the panel, which does need to be connected to Wi-Fi, by the way, if you're gonna be doing it. Um, and uh, you go to Tools. Now we enter in the installer code. My installer code is 4112. 4112. And right there, you will see an update firmware button. If your panel is not up to date, then you can just go ahead and hit update firmware. The button will go gray, and then you just hit the home key, the green key, to go back to the main screen. And the panel within about 15 to 30 minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed and depending what revision you're going from and then to uh, it may be about 15 30 minutes maybe a little bit longer again they've revamped the system with so many firmwares uh, they come out at least every quarter of the year so sometimes they do introduce new features which take a little bit longer to download so it's just something to keep in mind so after you've confirmed that you're on the correct firmware that your panels connected to the Wi-Fi um, you've updated the firmware, and that the HomeKit feature has been enabled on your panel from an alarm company, now you can go ahead and grab your tablet or your iOS device, tablet or iPhone. All right, so today I'm gonna to be using my iPad, and let me I'll go ahead and open it up. Very first thing you guys wanna make sure you do, the tablet, make sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network that your alarm system is connected to. If they're not connected to the same Wi-Fi network, it will not work. All right. So uh, after you've confirmed the same Wi-Fi, you now want to make sure 
that you go ahead and have the HomeKit app downloaded. All right, most some people may already have it on their phone, which is perfect. If you do not have it on your phone, then you will need to go to your app store and download the home app. Give me just one moment while I get my tablet set up here. All right, now I have my tablet set up. I have it connected to the same Wi-Fi network that the Lyric system is connected to. And I have my home app downloaded, which I'm going to go ahead and open. Um, it should be cleared. I haven't added any devices, so I'm starting fresh for HomeKit. The first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and hit Add Accessory. When you hit Add Accessory, the HomeKit app is going to ask you to scan the, uh, the little HomeKit barcode. But we don't have a code, and we can't scan it. So we're going to hit the little orange option right there underneath that says don't have a code or can't scan question mark. You hit that option and then it's going to give you all the nearby accessories that have HomeKit enabled and that are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. As you see, I have two lyrics on my um, as my nearby accessories. I'm going to select the lyric that's right here. You obviously will only have one because you'll be dealing with one in your in your home or business. So I'm going to go ahead and hit on my Lyric. It's going to ask me to enter the HomeKit setup code. At the same time, my panel is going to ask me to authorize the pairing code. You're going to need to enter in your master code on the Lyric system. So my master code right now is defaulted at 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to give me a numerical code. Now I can either type it in manually or I can simply do the use camera and then I can scan the number and it's pretty quick actually. It identifies 185461471 and then it starts adding the Lyric system to HomeKit. And it has been added. Now you can go ahead, you can click on the Lyric name, you can delete it and put whatever you want. I'll put video room lyric uh, the room you can play around with the rooms dining room living room bedroom this is if you have like uh, let's say lights switches anything like that in the, around the house you can always switch the room and I'm just gonna hit done now I have my home kit app I have my lyric system learned into my home kit and if I use my home kit I'm just gonna press and hold on the on the lyric I'm going to hit arm away and it's instantaneously you'll see the lyric system arms away. Armed away. Exit now. I can do off. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Time. Now the HomeKit app, there aren't any sensors learned into the HomeKit app right now because my panel does not have any sensors in it. But if I had front doors, windows, motions, anything that's programmed as an entry exit, perimeter, interior follower, or interior with delay, those will all come up in the HomeKit app. Now those are usually doors, windows, or motion sensors. So th those will come up in the HomeKit app. Now one important thing that I did mention earlier about your iPad being on the same Wi-Fi network as your Lyric Alarm system, some people may just be getting monitoring and they may just be using the HomeKit app to control the alarm system. Something important, if you want to have remote control of your Lyric system through HomeKit, you do need to have a HomeKit hub at the house. Now I believe that can be you, an Apple TV can be used as a HomeKit hub, and an iPad that's on the correct firmware version can also be used on the HomeKit hub, but again, as a HomeKit hub. But again, remember, they have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If the Wi-Fi goes down for any reason, the power goes out, HomeKit will not work. Now if you're being monitored only, that's perfectly fine because the system is still going to be able to send out signals as long as you have a cellular backup communicator. And then the other thing to keep in mind is HomeKit is not really a substitute for Total Connect 2.0. Total Connect 2.0 is Honeywell's application that you actually use for the Lyric Alarm system if you're on the correct plan. Now most people will substitute HomeKit for Total Connect not knowing that HomeKit only works on Wi-Fi. There is no cellular option for HomeKit. Total Connect, on the other hand, if you have Wi-Fi and cellular and the Wi-Fi goes down, 
Total Connect will still continue working on the cellular path, which is why we always recommend if you're planning on inter interacting with your system remotely, always still get still get Total Connect 2.0 in your monitoring plan. The only time you should really, really want to get HomeKit is if you have HomeKit devices such as lights, switches, thermostats, locks, and you want to be able to create scenes with your HomeKit devices based on the status of your alarm system. So for instance, I might have everything in my house HomeKit, lights, locks, thermostats, and uh, I'm looking for a system that does HomeKit. Well, the Lyric would work. You can bridge them all together and you can make a scene to where if the system, the Lyric system is set to arm away. You can have your thermostats raise the temperature, your locks will lock, your lights will turn on or off. Depends, you know, different people have different scenes that they're going to be creating, but that really is the only thing um, HomeKit really should be used for. Obviously, you can use it to arm and disarm, but you should not rely on it to give you notifications as Total Connect would be the best option for that. Now, if you guys have any questions regarding the HomeKit getting it set up to the Lyric system, feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you guys found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon so when we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.